welcome back to I hope you all have been doing well I recently took a nice long trip with my best friend who also happens to be my housemate it was just such a nice awesome beautiful sacred time for the two of us to just connect with each other also to nature it has been a pretty busy year filled with a lot of noise and also a lot of ups and downs and it was nice to just take a step back from all of that and immerse ourselves in each other's company come back to the moment and witness everything that's happening around us spending some time with her also gave me a lot of cause for reflection in terms of the female presences in my life this idea of feminine energy that I think a lot of young women struggled with at least on some level I've had female friends that say things like oh I'm not a girl's girl I have more male friends than other females usually do I'm not really a girly girl on a certain level I do feel like I resonate with that ever since I was younger I always did struggle in the company of other females it's quite strange when you think of it that way you would think that you would struggle with the opposite end of the gender spectrum because it's not something that's familiar or similar to what you are I think that was a limiting belief that held myself back from a lot of female friendships that had immense potential to be really nurturing and also uplifting a lot of that was also tied to body image and self-esteem issues for me I get that this isn't the case for everyone a lot of times these limiting beliefs do also stem from a certain amount of insecurity or self-doubt it was always a strange experience to be around other females when I was younger and a lot more conscious of myself maybe it's also because of the way movies and a lot of popular media portray female-female interactions there are very popular dynamics and tropes that creators come back to when portraying feminine relationships and friendships like cattiness between females fighting each other over getting the attention of a guy or things that don't really give an accurate representation of the amount of unconditionality that can be found in a single gender friendship Maybe this fear of the feminine is planted in a lot of us because of how we've been treated when we were younger or maybe the different family dynamics we were exposed to as children. That is very very valid but doesn't have to necessarily be the truth that continues to hold ourselves back especially as adults. Being able to reconcile and put two and two together is such a big step when it comes to any sort of growth. In a way it would open doors to a lot more giving and unconditional friendships. The funny thing was that I was limiting myself a lot in terms of the company I chose to keep. I always sought more comfort in masculine energies. Two things went into that. Number one, the comfort that male friends were able to give being okay with them, but that was also biased because I was going into the friendships thinking, oh, this person's male, like immediately I don't have to worry about the cattiness or having to keep up with a girly image around them, it was more so just being a tomboy and chilling out. The opposite was also true, that would mean that I entered female friendships with an existing bias already, being on guard and tense and thinking, oh there's a chance we, I don't know, we gotta do makeup thing. It sounds so silly when I say it now and it absolutely is. That is in no way shape or form the extent of a female friendship. It runs so much deeper than that. Remembering to embrace these female friendships and also celebrate them is such an integral part of us females being able to grow into our own. Even as human beings, it's so important to recognize that there is this duality within all of us. Females can carry masculine energy, males can carry feminine energy too. It's not limited to your physical gender. These constructs are just biological ways of quantifying what we are. But by no means necessarily are they the be all end all definition of who we are as things that occupy this earth. I feel like I've been going into airy fairy territory a lot of these concepts but I do think a lot of this stuff is rooted in our spirituality and also the presence and space that we hold. That's the thing about being female too in this day and age. There are a lot of expectations that are set out in front of us. Even though third wave and modern feminism are doing so many things for us in terms of equality in the workspace and speaking out against abuse and violence, it's a little bit more tricky to navigate the different expectations we might have of the women in our life. By extension of that, how we choose to navigate the friendships that we have. Being able to bask fully embrace that feminine energy is it fully acknowledge the potential these friendships can have 
on our lives is such an important and also sacred opportunity to take. It's definitely a luxury that not many of us completely understand just yet and even I am only just beginning to scratch the surface when it comes to female friendships and being able to bask in that safe, warm, cozy feeling that you can only get when you feel when you feel like you've made a bond with someone that kind of understands where you're coming from on many different levels. I think being out in nature also always helps take ourselves out of the city, out of the noisy space where we associate all these tense, not bits of tension in our lives and anxieties. Just being able to set ourselves in a fresh new space, just focus on each other, connect amongst ourselves and our surroundings, even though there wasn't too too much going on a huge sensory wash being exposed to all these crazy new energies like waterfalls, rain coming and going, winds it just makes you feel alive in a really special and funny way which I always appreciate it's something that nature just <laughs> nature's just able to bring out in us it was really really nice <laughs>